Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, we are building a simple web socket based chatting app using C Sharp, Visual Studio and the assistance of ChatGPT Copilot. But before we get started, please make sure you like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's get straight into it. So web sockets allow us to establish full duplex communication between a client and server, making them ideal for real-time applications like chat systems. So by the end of this video, you will have a basic chatting app with a web socket server and a console-based client to send and receive messages, yeah? To get us started, as you can see, I've got Visual Studio open, okay? So let's go ahead and click on the Create Project. So let's select um, a console app here. Obviously, this is a project for creating a command line application, if you don't know that, okay? So let's select it and go next. So on the solution side here, we're going to change the, uh, the solution name to Web Sockets, yeah? And then, okay, so on the, the project name here, let's put... Um, WebSocket.server. So this will be our server project, okay? So let's click on the create, which will actually create our new console app here. Yeah? So as you can see, yeah, we've got that bit created for us. So it's a WebSocket.server. Okay, so let's go ahead and add two more projects here. Yeah? So let's right click the solution and then new project. Of course, let's select the console app. And then let's name it WebSocket.client.1, client okay? Let's go ahead and create it. So let's go ahead and add one more project. Okay, so this will also be WebSocket. dot client two. So this is just for, uh, for us so that we'll be able to actually test both clients. Okay, so let's go ahead and click create. I mean, <clears throat> we can send a, so as you can see here now, we've got um, our web sockets to server, client one and client two. Okay, so what we're going to do is we come inside here, so this is our this is this is our, um, the GitHub Copilot chat here. Yeah? So basically, we're going to use the assistance of um, ChatGPT4 to to help us create this um, complete this project here. Yeah? So first of all, this is what we're going to do. So let's write let's create a chatting app based on web sockets yeah so let's go ahead and write hashtag here this will actually bring out this so let's select this so uh, hashtag web socket dot server so this this will be our server and So let's go ahead and select the client one and the client two will both be our client. So let's go ahead and click enter. <clears throat> so let's see um, the codes that will be generated for us, okay? So as you can see, this is the response here. Yeah? To create a chatting app using WebSocket, we need to implement WebSocket server and two WebSocket clients. The server will handle incoming connections and broadcast messages to all connected clients. The clients will connect to the server and send 
receive message. Okay, so let's scroll down. So this is this is the code for our WebSocket server. So let's start. Let's get started by going inside WebSocket server and open the the program that CS. Let's remove this. So let's scroll down. So this is all the code that we need for our client. I mean our server. So here, let's select here and then click on preview. So this will actually, uh, the code will be previewed inside our program.cs, then we can just select it to add it. So as you can see here, this is what we've got created for us, okay? So it, it's got all the necessary stuff needed for us to get started. So let's have a look at what's inside. So accept, accept WebSocket client method actually handles the incoming WebSocket client, yeah? And then it actually writes that um, the client has been connected if the connection is successful. So the second method is handle client. So this actually handles whether a client is disconnected or connected and also handles the incoming messages as well. So the third one also broadcasts the messages to the other connected clients, okay? So let's go ahead, let's scroll down, but you can take your time and read the response from the chat GPT. So let's scroll down. So here we have the, the, the client one. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open the client one here. Let's remove this bit here. And then um, preview. So this will actually add it to our program.cs in the client one, yeah. So this is the code that we've got. Yeah, we'll come back to it and have a look properly, but let's move on to the client too as well. And let's remove this bit. Yeah, let's scroll down and preview. So it's pretty much the same as the client one code, yeah? So here, as you can see, yeah, let's um, re resolve this reference. So it's obviously system.net.websocket. Yeah, and, and then the encoding bit. Yeah, so let's solve this bit as well. So it's system.test and all the errors go away. Okay. So this is what we've got for now here. So let's save all. And then here on this bit here, um, the settings on the, I mean, here. So let's go, let's click on the configure startup projects. So let's make it a multiple start project. So let's start server client one and two. Okay, let's apply changes and click OK. So as you can see here now, we've got a new profile. We've got where we can start both, I mean, all the three projects simultaneously. So let's go ahead and have a look at what actually is happening there. Okay, so let's click on the start. So as you can see here now, we've got our three projects running now. So as you can see, this is a client too. As you can see, we've got it's connected to the server. And this is also client one, which is also connected to the server. And then we have the server. As you can see, we've got both clients connected. So let's write something on the client one and see if it, it, it actually sends it. So as you can see here now, we have, we, we, we sent a message from the client one, and as you can see, it's received it on the server, and obviously it's forwarded it to the, to the our client, yeah? So as you can see, is is mostly broadcast, but we can go ahead, yeah, and expand it further in terms of being able to send it to a particular user and obviously adding name, I mean, um, username capabilities as well. But obviously, of course, I don't want to make this video very, uh, um, this video too long here. Yeah? I will leave it for here. As you can see, it's a very simple to get yourself started. 
yeah so you can have a look and explore it further you can give you more command to expand the project to to suit whatever you're looking for okay so i'll leave it here for now and i hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up peace